The case against 62-year-old John Downey collapsed when it emerged in 2007. He received a letter assuring him he was no longer a wanted man. The letter was part of a secret deal between the government and Sinn Féin as part of the Northern Ireland peace process. In John Downey's case, it was sent in error because there was an outstanding warrant against him. The judge in the murder case against him ruled the letter was enough to halt the trial. John Downey was charged with murdering four members of the Household Cavalry on the 20th of July 1982. On that day, a car bomb exploded in Hyde Park as the soldiers rode to the changing of the guard parade. Seven horses were also killed. Mr Downey strenuously denied any part in the bombing. One of the four soldiers killed was Lieutenant Anthony Daly. His brother says the collapse of the trial has been painful for the victims' families. It's difficult to describe in words the depth of anger and, and hurt that one feels, the element of frustration when you felt that somebody was going to be brought to justice and the fact that opportunity has gone away. Responding to an emergency question in the Commons this afternoon, Attorney General Dominic Grieve said although he'd known about the letter promising immunity, the charges had been too serious to ignore. Whatever the circumstances in which the letter had been sent, and it is now clear that its assurances were wrongly given, it was right that the matter should be tested in court. The victims' families say they deserve answers. Essentially, a full and detailed explanation as to why this letter was issued in error. I think the pain that the families have gone through require an apology from those, particularly PSNI, for, for, who were responsible for the issuing or advising the issuing of this letter. And thirdly, a review of their processes to ensure that no other letters have been issued in error. Other letters have been sent. The court heard from former Northern Ireland Secretary Peter Hayne. He confirmed 187 people received letters telling them they wouldn't face arrest and prosecution for IRA crimes. The Northern Ireland First Minister has threatened to resign unless there's a full inquiry into how and why deals like this were done and kept secret in the first place. Charlotte Cross, Forces News.